This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Thunder just didn't have it tonight, mainly because they didn't have three starters. Tabo Cephalosha and Kendrick Perkins, of course, out tonight. And Russell Westbrook didn't play because he was being rested. The Thunder just clobbered by the Dallas Mavericks, 109 to 86. Kevin Durant did have 30 points tonight to extend that streak of his to 31 straight games, but the Thunder couldn't play any defense tonight. The Mavs ended up shooting 53.3% overall and 54% from three. They couldn't do anything to contain the Mavericks. That was the biggest problem tonight. We talked to Scott Brooks in the post-game interview room afterwards. Here's what Scotty had to say. Well, uh, you know, wasn't one of our better games. Uh, unfortunate that we didn't come out with the, the energy that it takes to, to beat a very good team. Um, 90, 90 points or 91 points in the first three quarters. Nearly three 30-point quarters. Um, wasn't good enough. We have to play much better defense. We have to play uh, just better defensive basketball to beat a good team that moves the ball 24 seconds every, every time down the court. They find a great shot. Uh, you took a timeout 57 seconds into the second half. I think you took maybe three or four in that quarter. I mean, is that just a sign of how frustrated this night was, uh, specifically defensively? Well, I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy, nor or our guys are happy. We didn't. Uh, we didn't play. Uh, we didn't play well tonight. We're trying to stop the runs and the timeouts. We didn't need them at the end of the game. Um, I thought. I thought we are defensively. They were. They were shooting in the low 50s throughout the game. And I, I'm assuming every quarter other than the last quarter when um, was above 50. Nick Gallathunder.me.com. Coach, how critical is stopping dribble penetration to what you guys try to do on defense? Well, we didn't, we didn't, do, we didn't do a lot of things right on the defensive end. We didn't, we didn't get into our coverages. Um, we didn't stop the basketball. Um, they were shooting threes. They were uh, driving to the basket. Um, they were we were chasing the basketball over all, all night long, and when we're good, we can we uh, control the ball. And tonight we didn't do that. Early January, you guys struggled, kind of figuring out how to play without Russell. Then you figured it out, played really well in January and February, and you had some trouble readapting to him coming back. Now he's back out again for tonight's game. Is that kind of is that the challenge of trying to kind of switch between two different styles and two different teams? I mean, it, it is a challenge, but it's something that we've always embraced and and. And we love these opportunities. You know, we've have we had three starters are out. If you want to look at it that way, but we're an organization that doesn't use that as an excuse, even though that's not an excuse. That's factual. Um, but I love the challenge. Our guys love it. Unfortunately, we didn't come out with uh, a good enough energy in a team that's playing good basketball. And this is a very, very talented team that plays well together. And, and they had they had us moving all over the floor, and we didn't we didn't we didn't control the ball. Were the defensive issues tonight similar to you know what they were a week ago uh, in those losses in LA and Phoenix? Well, if you don't, ha I mean, if you have to have the proper energy to in order to stop any team in this league, um, it's like tomorrow night. If we don't come out with the energy, Chicago is a very physical team. We're going to have to play better than we played tonight. Um, good thing about our team, we're going to move on to the next game. We're, we're, we'll go over some film tomorrow morning. Move on to the next game. Uh, hopefully we learn some things from the game tonight. Uh, not so sure what they will be at this point, but I, I know we always do as a, as a group uh, come back tomorrow and give a better effort against the Bulls. Scott, you talked about a three-point shooting, opponent three-point shooting before the game. What made them so successful tonight? We didn't control the basketball. The basketball had, had, its, uh, had too much freedom, and they were, they were moving us around. They, they dictated the game with their movement, and... Uh, their ball movement. We couldn't control the basketball, and and that's what happens when you when you're playing against a great three-point shooting team. Uh, 13 for 24 um, wasn't good enough. Well, we when you're not making them, no. But you know, we were we were in scramble mode. And we were down 20-something points, so we were trying to get them uh, either a layup or a three. Uh, normally, you know. 24 to 25 is a better better range for us. Scott, Randy Renner, NBA.com and 1340 the game. Like you said, you've got now, tonight was three starters out. Perk and Tabo are going to miss presumably the rest of the month. And you've said Bruss is 
fine, no problems with the knee or conditioning. And should you guys maybe rethink that plan of having him miss no. some of these back-to-backs? I mean, no, the temptation doesn't even go through our mind. We have, we have a plan, and we're going to stick with it. Um, you know, he'll be back tomorrow. He's he had a good workout um, yesterday, today. He got some shots up, but he'll be back tomorrow. Um, Russell in, Russell out is not that wasn't the factor tonight. Tonight's factor was they outplayed us. Give them credit first of all, and they they played a good basketball game. They moved the ball. They they made a bunch of shots, uh, and we didn't play with the with the force that we usually play with. We're, you know, we're talking all these defensive issues tonight, but, I mean, you guys shot 36% from the floor. I mean, the bench shot a really poor percentage. Did the energy seep over into that side too? Well, what I mean, that, that's, that's part of it. I mean, it's, it's the – we're a two-way basketball team, and, you know, we didn't shoot the ball well. There's no question. But we, we take pride in it. It doesn't let us – the shooting doesn't let a, us um, affect us on the defensive end. Tonight they they had a, they had their way with us. Uh, there's no way around it. They 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 beat us they beat us up pretty good um, with their ball movement. Um, but we but we have a we have a chance to come back tomorrow and and play much better. A frustrated coach Scott Brooks talking about his team's lack of defensive intensity, and then perhaps you heard my question there, wondering if maybe it's time to rethink that plan that will keep Russell Westbrook on the bench during some of these back to backs. And Scotty saying that. That thought doesn't even cross their mind that they will continue to look at these upcoming back-to-backs for games that Westbrook can be rested. Still, though, both Tabo and Perk are going to be out more than likely for at least the rest of this month. And when the Thunder are playing without three starters, at least tonight, it wasn't pretty. Keep checking back. Thunder heading on the road there. at be in Chicago tomorrow night for a game with the Bulls. And right here at InsideThunder.com, we'll have the latest for you. 